I'm doing uh, baked halibut with a wild mushroom crust with uh, scallion coulis and fried leeks, crispy leeks. Okay. This is your like sixth year, right? My sixth year. Right. At, at, at the Hayes Hotel? No, no, no. My, almost the end of my second year. Oh, second year. Right. Almost the end of my second year. Right. The influence of Washington and an African American executive chef that you got your from experience so much so far. Well, I'm originally from the East Coast, so it was good to get back to it. You know, Los Angeles was a nice venture for two years, but I was good, glad to get back to the East Coast. And Washington has been actually a tremendous experience. It's been um, the city kind of opened up its arms to me, and it was really nice. And and uh, my colleagues have been wonderful, and the response from our guests have been has been incredible. Has You're really been incredible. Enough to participate in three of the previous feast taste of uh, heritage, right? Heritage. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the the event is um, it was, it's a really great one and is destined to become even better. Actually, each one has gotten better and bigger. Um, this is the biggest one in Washington so far. And um, the, the, the reason behind it is uh, one that's a necessity. And um, the Scholarship Foundation is going to be a, a source of um, income and resources for years to come for young African-American culinary students. It's just a great, it's a great, a great thing. Now, looking before your certification, what you had to go through, the experiences, and looking at young trainees that are coming through now, this is a rewarding training to work with such influential chefs that come from across the country. Yeah, it is. It's a rewarding experience for them, but this is it's also kind of the... The system usually works that way because I got to work with good chefs and they're getting to work with good chefs and hopefully they'll become better than we are, you know, as time goes on and that's how progress is made in the, in the, in the field, you know, so but hopefully they, you know, they take the experience and they learn with it and they run with it and just keep doing that, you know, and learning, constantly learning and working with good people and if you, you know, if, I guess if you stay in good company, it breeds good company, so if they can stay with good chefs, then they'll be good themselves one day. Finally. Seven courses that people would die for. What can one leave? At, what will one leave after this session tonight? I hope they don't leave hungry. That's for sure. But um, no, I think they'll they'll um, see a broad range of different styles and different tastes. Um, some definitely connected to an African American theme. Some probably still more a little bit more European based, probably such as mine. But um, understand that there are young African Americans out there that do know how to cook more than just ribs and chicken and black eyed peas and collard greens and you can um, experience some really uh, gastronomic delights from these from these young guys. Okay, so if one goes we're gonna set up ten we're gonna cover it, take them up.